All right, so I just stepped inside and it is really, really nice. The floors are beautiful. The trim pieces match the floors. It hasn't been painted over the trim pieces. Love that kind of concept. Um, really nice uh, fireplace here. It's an electric fireplace, but it's nice surround that they've got done, that they put in. Um, nice uh, uh, stairway as well, too. Like it a lot. The colors are good. Paint is good. Uh, nice formal dining room uh, with a window that opens up there, which is a nice addition and a nice light fixture. Floors carry through. We have this uh, built up for the going into the kitchen, so there's no trip hazard there. Um, we've got an uh, electric stove. And it is vented outside as well, too, which is normally not something we normally see. Backsplash is fine. It's it's good. It's different. Uh, Non-granite countertops, but that's okay for a rental property. LG uh, dishwasher. Oh, all, that's all good. Um, we've got uh, GE uh, refrigerator. Uh, nice kitchen. And then we step into this back area, which is just really, really nice because it gives you some extra space in the kitchen. Looking out over the backyard. We've got a great big window here, so it's very, very bright. They've got a little dining room table set up here. That's nice. That way you have a little place to have breakfast. You could move to make this into a TV room. There's all kinds of different things you could do here. Stepping down the stairs, we've got an extra a, a exit door, which is new. Doesn't look like it. It is locked. Okay. And then they've waterproofed the basement, which is a nice addition. That costs about $100 a square foot. We step down into the basement, and we just have a square basement here, um, which is good. It has the ability to be able to do some different things with it. Electrical has been updated. We got newer electrical. We have newer windows in the basement, as I said, and it has been waterproofed. We've got the original standpipe coming in, the gas meter. We've got copper, plum, uh, copper plumbing. We've got a high efficiency furnace that I just stepped over. It has been insulated to keep it a little bit warmer down here. Our supports for the basement look good. Some plumbing has been updated. This is a good one. I like it. A little bit older furnace, but it, they work fine. It's good. A little bit older furnace. If there's anything that's a downfall, it's just the concept of a little bit older furnace, but not super old. Electrical panel is huge and massive. That's why I said the electric's been updated and you got plenty of extra space like that. Then we have this extra space, which is underneath the back side of the house. Seems like it's pretty dry in here, too, because they've got lots of stuff stacked up and stuff. So it seems like this part of the basement's very, very dry. Since the other part's been waterproof, that's good. This could always be converted into a TV room or something, too. You could run electric because the panel's right there. The knob and tube has been removed. It's not running any longer. There's no knob and tube. It's been spliced and removed. All completely updated. That's great from an insurance perspective. Gotta like that. Let's go upstairs. See what's going on upstairs.